Colonial revival style houses were extremely popular throughout the U.S. from 1900 to 1950. The 1876 centennial of the American Revolution ignited interest among architects and designers in the American colonial period, particularly English and Dutch traditions. Colonial revival houses were new interpretations of early American architecture, and it eventually overtook the Queen Anne as the dominant style of domestic building during the first half of the 20th century. This style of building was promoted by the popular house plan catalogs that used to circulate the U.S. We see these houses in cities across the U.S., which may explain why so many American movies and television shows are set within the backdrop of a colonial revival residence. The colonial revival style and its many variations are found on houses big and small all over Wallingford. One of the most common variations found here is the Dutch colonial revival style. It's characterized by a symmetrical, well-balanced facade, a steep double-pitched or gambrel roof that contains almost a full second story of interior space, and colonial details like fan lights and a pedimented entry supported by round columns. Single-story side porches and gable end chimneys are common too. Evidence of the style's continued popularity can be seen at the Little Free Library on the corner of 47th and Burke.